Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom and this afternoon we're going to make a whole snapper curry. So, first of all I just want to explain this whole snapper. So I've taken the head off and I've got the head ready to go in and I've got the fillets here uh, thawing out and I've got the frames here. I've got uh, the, the frame off that head as well as another frame of a, of a small snapper. So that's in one and a half cups of water. I'm going to cook that down into a stock. And uh, while that's happening, I'll just turn the heat on now. And uh, so while that's happening, I'm going to just, uh, I've got in this saucepan, I've got one tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to uh, turn the heat up on that. And I'm going to put in one, one chopped up onion. And uh, then we'll return. And we're going to saute that a bit. Okay, so our onions are sauteed nicely. So what I've got now is I've got uh, a couple of cloves of garlic here in the form of uh, half a dozen small ones. Oops. And I've got about a tablespoon of chopped up ginger. Now that's out of my garden, so I'm pleased about that. And, uh, oops, I'm just going to saute that and uh, I've got this uh, Shan uh, meat and vegetable curry mix we got that from Indian Spice Shop so uh, I'm going to put two teaspoons of that in the mixture and then just uh, cook that for about about a minute or well, until it starts to stick to the about a minute until it starts to stick to the bottom of the Awesome. And as you can hear, the heat's up fairly high. In the meantime, our fish dock is cooking. Okay, so our, our spices have been cooking for about a minute, and uh, smell that would be beautiful. So I've got about one and a half cup of coconut uh, milk. So uh, let's just I'm put that in there and deglaze the saucepan and uh, reduce it down to a simmer. So I've got some more ingredients to go in. Uh, I've got a quarter of a cup of sultanas mm -hmm. and about a quarter, uh, about a teaspoon of salt that's going to go in, and we've got a quarter of a cup of chopped raw cashews. So uh, you need to use raw cashews because they'll soak up the curry beautifully. And I've got about half a dozen curry leaves, and uh, now they're going to, going to go in. And I'm also going to uh, put in the fish head at this stage. Now here's our fish head just dying to go in there. <laughs> so, uh, and we'll put the lid on and let it just lightly simmer. And fish stock is broken down beautifully. And uh, the next stage is to strain the, all the bones out and uh, just get the liquid. The main thing I want to avoid is getting the bones in the curry. That's the main thing. Oh, this smell is absolutely oh, yeah. beautiful. So beautiful. I'm just, so I'm just uh, getting all the uh, fish juice out of this, out of all these bones. All the goodness. That's the best part of the fish around the bones. So the next thing to go in, I've got my fish fillets all nicely sliced into little pieces. Um, so that's all going to go in. So and, uh, I'm just going to just let that let it simmer with the fish in there. And I've got a couple more things to go in after that, and then I've got to roll the roti and cook some roti. <laughs> what uh, time are we having lunch, Jeffrey? Uh, just after one. Woman's father's here and a friend. So. Um, so that's that, and 
Right, the next step here, I've got some sweet potato cooked and I'm just going to use my ricer and uh, so I'm just going to use that as a thickener. So, uh, right, so this is the, the last of the sweet potato to go in. Yep. And, uh, So I'm just going to cook the roti and just going to stir this through and that will help as a thickener. And uh, it's looking beautiful. It does, it smells nice. So, uh, Can you two smell it in there? <laughs> They're not talking because you told them not to talk. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear me either of them. Yeah. I've got a few snake beans and sweet corn here, so I'm going to put some of them in there. Just to add to this masterpiece. I'm, I'm getting hungry, Jeff. Yeah, it won't take long to cook up, cook up the roti. So, uh, yes, that. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. When do we eat, Jeff? As soon as these are done. I've got to do uh, eight, eight of these. Yeah, and done. then we can have... What, two each? Two each. So you just got to watch out for the steam, that's all. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is our last roadie we cooked up. <laughs> anyway, and uh, we're going to say goodbye now. So, uh, anyway, we're going to have our lunch now. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. <laughs>